what I learned from cleaning the houses of celebrities. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by House Call Pro, which is the number one service software for service professionals. And this is a software that goes on your app, on your phone, it goes on your computer. And so if you are the business owner, you can dispatch jobs to your employees. They can check in for the jobs. They can take pictures of the jobs. You have a chance that you can invoice the customer right from the app. The customer can approve it. Then you do your one-click credit card processing and all of the details and the nuances of the scheduling or the changes of your scheduling or your cancellations or any of those things run almost seamlessly in the background of your business. So you're not re-entering the data every single time. This will save you an enormous amount of time. On average, like one to 10 hours a week. And it's very, very affordable and less than the price of an admin person that you would hire to do that for you for your business. So check it out at housecallpro.com forward slash Angela. All right, on to today's show. Very interesting topic. We have just reached 900 episodes of Ask a House Cleaner. And so we've been ruminating and thinking about the things that we've learned, lessons learned, either from the house cleaning business or from having a YouTube channel or whatever. And this week, we're excited to share with you some of the lessons that we've learned over the last 900 episodes and the last 25 years as a professional house cleaner. So today, I would like to share with you some of the lessons I learned from working with celebrities. All right, the very first thing that I want to suggest is it's not everything it's cracked up to be when you get a celebrity household. Now, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. We have professional sports teams here. We have the banking industry, so we have a lot of high-level executives. We've got lots of Fortune 500 companies that are here in North Carolina. And so we've had the privilege of working with a lot of the celebrities and top level executives inside their homes. All right, so the very first thing that you have to consider is there's an intimidation factor when you go to bid the job. The very first thing that you are afraid of is like, oh no, I'm not equal to them. Well, the reality is they are people, they're God's children, just like all the rest of us. They're regular people, just like you and me. And so the first thing that you have to do is you have to realize that you are a business owner and you are the expert. And so they are hiring you to be the expert. Okay, so they do whatever they do best. You do what you do best. That's why they've hired you. All right. The second thing that you have to realize is that a lot of them have money issues. And even though they may be worth millions of dollars, a lot of it is not liquid. So it's tied up in other investments. So there are times where they have not been able to pay on time, just like everyone else. And so it's easy to say, well, they're a celebrity, so I'll just float them the money. Well, no, you don't float anybody the money because you can't run a business that way. And so the same rules that apply to everyone else apply to them. And if they don't pay for a period of time, whatever that time is for your company, you have to cut off their service. <laughs> and so that sounds very unusual, but that is the case. Okay, another interesting thing I learned from working with celebrities is they have daily chores just like everyone else. And so like we have food that's left on plates and then the food dries out and it sticks to the plates, and then you have to soak the plates and scrub the gunk off. Celebrities have that too. And they eat pizza just like everyone else. They've got like pizza boxes and stuff like that lying around their houses as well. And so it's easy to think that they live in these fancy cribs, which many of them do, but they also have the daily chores that everyone else has. They have laundry, dirty clothes, just like everyone else. They got to make their bed every single day, just like everyone else. Now they may pay someone to do it, but those chores still exist. They still have to clean out the toilets, still have to wash the toothpaste off the counter. All of that stuff still applies. So it's easy to elevate these people and think that they are better than everyone else. But the reality is the cleaning, it's pretty much the same. It's just bigger and there's more of it. Now, one of the other things that I learned, their homes are bigger and there's more of it, which means that you have a lot more dusting and you have a lot more fragile items and you have a lot more custom art and you have to be more careful and you can't work as fast as you might normally do in a home because the risk of you breaking a $30 plate in one home in a fancy home might be a $3,000 plate, right? So the rules of engagement are slightly different, but you still have to treat everything with ultimate respect. Now that leads me to the next thing, ultimate respect. There's a confidentiality rule that comes with every home. It's also included with celebrities, especially with celebrities because while they have chosen to live their lives in public, there are certain things you cannot out. And so what I mean by that is like we cleaned house for one nasty celebrity. 
and publicly she was just nasty. She had this attitude and whatever, but on the inside she was actually a really lovely, amazing person. And so while you would think, well, she's going to be, oh, just a headache. When we took on the account, I was really afraid that it was going to be a nightmare. Turns out she's one of the sweetest people I've ever met, but that was her persona and we could never expose that, right? And then when she had some family struggles, she actually asked if we would stop and pray with her. But this was very uncharacteristic of the outer version of her, which is the character she was playing in public. And so you can't out that. You can't come out and destroy the image they have created because that is their brand, right? So there are certain things like that that you have to kind of fall in alignment with because that is, that is their story, right? That's, that's their life and you're just honoring it by cleaning their home. All right, so another thing that I learned from working with celebrities is because they are people just like you and me, they get sick just like everyone else. They wake up in the morning, they have a bad hair day. They need a shower every day just like everyone else. They wander around in their pajamas and they, they take ill and they have to call out sick just like everyone else. They're not, they're not special in any way in the sense that they're invincible. And it's easy to say, well, they are invincible because they have all this money. Well, when you have all this money, you just have all these extra responsibilities that go along with it. And in order to maintain that lifestyle, you also have a bunch of people that are expecting things from you. And the levels of stress and the levels of depression and the levels of frustration, they are also elevated. There is so much more that is expected of them because of the paychecks that they're collecting. And so sometimes they will just want a shoulder to cry on. And you're like, I'm totally not qualified. I'm not a therapist. <laughs> And yet you might be the person that's there and the person that they're willing to have you just sit down and have a cup of tea with them, right? And so those are, those are all things that you get to navigate if you work for a celebrity. But I will share this with you. If you ever have the chance of working with a celebrity, you may want to consider taking the job because while you have these illusions of what it's going to bring you, it will give you a very broadened perspective of the client base that you have. And it will make you appreciate the other clients that you have and it will make you appreciate the clients that you have that are in a different power position or a different financial position than some of your other clients. So it will give you a well-rounded view of the world that you live in and the world that you work in. Anyway, fascinating stuff. All right, I hope that helped you a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.